In our previous two videos, we have learned the definition of force, effects of force, contact and non-contact force, definition of force of friction, and the factors that affect the amount of force of friction. Let us divide this video into two parts. Remember that in our last video, we have decided to discuss the types of friction. So, first part of this video is on the types of friction. We have learned that friction helps us. Let us learn today in how many ways friction helps us. If friction really helps us, how can we increase its amount? On the other hand, we have also learned that friction opposes motion. So, it disturbs us too. Let us try to find in how many ways it disturbs us. Let us discuss how it can be reduced if it really disturbs. So, we are going to focus on the advantages and disadvantages of friction. Also, we are going to focus on how we can increase and reduce friction. Second part of this video is on the advantages and disadvantages of friction and the ways to increase and reduce it. So, let us start our discussion. There are mainly two types of friction. One, when the object is at rest and we are trying to make it move, a frictional force acts between the surface of the object and the surface on which the object is kept. We have felt it clearly when we have tried to push a heavy box. The box generally does not move when we start pushing it. The frictional force acts with a greater magnitude than our pushing force. We can make the box move if we gradually increase the amount of pushing force. So, we can say that the force of friction acting on object which is at rest or which is static is called static friction. On the other hand, a force of friction may be acting on an object which is in motion. That frictional force is called kinetic friction. Look, an object may move in two different ways. Number one, it may slide over a surface. The flat surface of a box may move through a flat surface. In this case, the frictional force is said to be sliding frictional force. Number two, the object may roll on a surface. Moving of a car on wheels, pushing or pulling trolley bags on rollers are the examples in which the objects are rolling on the ground. A frictional force acts between the surface and the rollers or the wheels. This frictional force is called rolling frictional force. So we can prepare a chart to show the types of friction. There are some results what we will remember only in these lower classes. Static friction is the highest of all three. The sliding frictional force is moderate and the rolling friction is the least of all. We can prove by an experiment that sliding frictional force is greater than rolling frictional force. Please allow me some time to prepare another exclusive video on it. Let us see some examples which tell us that life would be quite impossible without friction. These are some of the advantages of friction. Had not there been friction between the paper and the pen or pencil, we could not write. We cannot write on a smooth paper or very smooth surface by any regular pen or pencil because these smooth surfaces do not offer enough frictional force to write on. We need to use some special felt pens. If we try to write on a whiteboard, we use board markers. If we try to sign on a photo, we use permanent markers. A matchstick produces fire only due to frictional force between the stick and the matchbox. Vehicles can move on the road. We can walk through the ground or the floor. 
only due to frictional force. Since frictional force is so helpful, sometimes we need to increase friction. Remember what we have learned in the previous video. There are two factors that influence magnitude of friction and they are the roughness of the surface in contact and the weight of the moving object. Let us see some methods to increase the roughness. We use grooved soles for safe walking. We use grooved tires for the safe running of the vehicles. We can increase the roughness of a smoother surface by any means. Sometimes we do it by using sandpapers of larger grids. Though friction has many advantages, it is often said to be an evil. This is because friction has some disadvantages too. We have seen that friction opposes motion. The parts of the object desired to move through a surface in contact wear out due to friction. We have experienced in our practical life. Shoe soles get worn out after a time. Friction causes wear and tear in machinery parts. Friction produces heat which affects the efficiency of machines. So, sometimes we need to reduce friction. Let us have a quick look on some of the methods to reduce friction. We use fine sandpapers to make the surface smooth. Actually, we reduce the roughness. We can use different lubricants for different machine and parts. We use powder on carom boards to make the surface smooth, slippery, so that the coins move easily. We provide streamlined shape to some objects like aeroplanes, boards, ships, etc. This shape reduces the frictional force, which is otherwise called as drag by air or water. Please allow me to take a little pause till the next video. I will not say goodbye my friends, for you and I will meet again. I look forward to our next meeting.